Good morning, guys. It's Kevin out here in the woods this morning, and I think you can see Wednesday night into Thursday night, we got some snow, about six inches, and I'm really just out here today to my, enjoy myself. I'm going to take a walk, and it reminds me of being a kid playing in the woods, but if you've seen the title, I'll admit it's a bit clickbaity. So Ben Scott and Owen Jarvis were giving me a hard time about having shitty technique. Owen specifically said my uh, chopping techniques all arms and that I should give um, the timber sports way of bucking a chance. Um, but I don't really have a heavy enough axe, at least according to Owen. He insists that I need something like four and a half, five pounds to really make it worth its while. I got a three and a half pounder and a four pounder, so we'll do our best with what we got. But as I said, really just out here to enjoy myself. But uh, I do want to give this timber sports way of bucking a chance and see what it feels like. So I'll uh, take you guys along the ride on that as well. The other thing I wanted to do, fucking smoke. All right, I'm back. Before we were rudely interrupted by the smoke, I was trying to say that I am still doing the axe giveaway. I said if we reached 300 subscribers by the end of the year, I would do another giveaway. You guys are at like 350 right now the last time I checked, so axe giveaway. And the axe giveaway is in this little fancy green bag. And it is a one and a half pound Holtzbrook little hatchet this time you guys are going to have to hang it yourself whether you make it into a kindling splitter or a carver is enti entirely up to you but these are the rules you have to be a subscriber you have to live in the united states and you have to leave it in the comments below what you would do with this little hatchet Meaning, is it going to be a kindling splitter so and keep it next to your fire stove? Is it going to be a little bushcraft hatchet? What are you going to do with it? You're going to file the cheeks back. You're going to keep it chunky. You get my drift. Subscribe, like, comment, and we will do a um, we'll do a raffle at the end of the year for this little HB, and we'll work out the details. And I will ship this little guy to you. Look, lemonade. Tastes like it too. Well, let's keep going and see what we can find. There's a turkey scratch. Turkeys have been scratching for some bugs here. Here's the game trail that doe just came from. I'm sure the camera doesn't do it justice, but check out this massive white oak and this massive limb that's broken off. I gotta go under that. And if that fell on me, that would definitely ruin your day. We'll go quickly then, right? No dilly-dallying. Here we go, under the bridge. Still alive. Gets a little thicker through here. Oh, right down the neck. Oh, I hate that. Keep moving. Just jumped another deer. Small buck. Maybe a six point or so. Right, right up. up in there somewhere. I'm sure he's long gone now. Let's sit down here and have a little think. A little talk about the channel and where we're headed. Um, I definitely want to keep doing more of the same, lots more of axes, more knives, more shop stuff, but I do want to expand it as well, like move it in larger directions, start talking about a uh, more general tool philosophy and reviewing more tools, uh, especially tools that are used in the shop to hang axes and maintain the outdoor equipment, but also... Um, you know, battery tools and the tools that I use and wouldn't go without. I also want to start doing a little bit more uh, heady stuff. I have had some of you, um, I won't say a lot, but some of you who are really interested in the philosophy stuff and the, the book review stuff. So one of you noted that uh, there seemed to be a lack of Hemingway on my bookshelf. And I assure you there are not. See you guys, these are double road. They're not single road. 
I'm not exactly sure where Hemingway is at here, but I assure you I have read everything Hemingway has ever written. See, not just a single layer of books. I'm not going to go searching through all these because I'm not exactly sure where Hemingway is at, but I assure you, there he is, look, right there. See all the Hemingway? I am a huge fan of Hemingway, so no concerns there. Hemingway. So I do intend on doing a book review on Dudley Cook's book, but uh, I also want to talk about some other books that influenced me and authors who have influenced me. And I'll try at first at least to keep it in the outdoor arena to see how that goes and how you guys like that. But if you like it, we'll expand it. I also want to talk about my um, views on survival and bushcraft and do some videos in that direction as well. Again, not an expert, but um, like everybody, I have my opinion and my take on it, so I'll share it with you guys. You've heard it said, right, that moss always grows on the north side of the tree, and if you're lost, you can use that as a directional point. Check this out. Moss. More moss. And more moss still. So which way is north? Well, right now that's easy because that's the sun and the sun always rises in the east so that makes that north and that west but if you couldn't see the sun could you use that tree no it's been fun it's been really fun so I'll keep up uploading I don't have any intense um, intentions on quitting anytime soon so, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, guys. Um, and if I don't see you before the New Year's, I'm sure I will. But if I don't, Happy New Year's as well. Getting a little closer to my cousin's place again. I can hear the uh, construction noise that's going on over there. I do apologize for that. I hope that it's um, over soon, but can't be helped. In the meantime, we'll just have to put up with it and enjoy the beautiful scenery. There's just not enough time, man. I mean, yes, I know nature is red in tooth and claw a lot of the times, but it is also incredibly beautiful. There just doesn't seem like there's enough time to mature and learn what's important in life. Stop and smell the roses, so to speak. So when you can, you should, because Life is long in a lot of ways, but short in others. Check out that big bulbous burl. <laughs> hey, butthead. He said bulbous. <clears throat> big bulbous butthead. Big bulbous burl. Okay, I made it out of the woods and back to the clean field. All I got to do is get way up there and we'll be home. Way up there and we'll be back to the camp. I made it. Fire still seems to be going, which is good. I'm going to cook up a little food here. And get to doing some chopping. Just top ramen today, nothing swanky. Chicken flavored. All right, let's give this a shot. I pulled you back a little wider so that you can see, you know, the full swing. So basically what I've taken from it so far is my regular swing is just to pull the ax up over top of my head, more or less with my arms. But what Ben and Owen would like to see me do is to keep I, it seems like Ben especially keeps his elbow over top of the axe and pulls the axe up with his knees up over top of his head and really lets it fly out there. So I'm going to focus on those two things so as not to get too much in my head at one time. I'm going to make sure I'm keeping the axe straight in line with my nose, keeping my elbow more or less in line with the axe and pulling the axe up over top of the head with my body and then really 
extending it out there when I come down. And that's pretty much all I'm going to focus on today. I don't have that much wood, so uh, mostly the full extension of the axe and keeping the axe straight in line with my arms and my nose. See how she goes. They also stand a little bit more close to the log than I do. Um, I would be right about, yeah, I guess right about here. And that's pretty much where I'm going to be as well. So that's not that much different. Let's give it a go. Let's see. So I want to... See, that time I could feel was different. God, it feels awkward. Try another one here. Same idea. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but it already feels a little more natural. Definitely throws my accuracy off, but I'm sure that with any new technique, it's going to feel awkward until you get used to it. Definitely feels like it does have more power, bringing it way over your head, obviously. done see there I just fell back into more of an old habit I tend to throw my elbow out more because I'm picking the axe up with my arms this one you're sort of swinging it up with your body which makes sense notches are pretty ugly but right there see that was just my natural swing Compare that to what I've been doing. My natural swing is more or less, I probably even kick this out a lot of the times to go like this. Any Oasis fans? Uh, this album, definitely maybe. What's the story, Morning Glory? And Be Here Now. You know, they're some of my favorite albums of all time. Affected me in my younger years and uh, still listen to them to this day all right back to the task at hand Here we go. Okay, more extension, more extension. Not really focusing on accuracy right now, nor of uh, bucking up this log, just on the technique. that heel a little bit more maybe
All right, I gotta clear that out. So here's how I would swing this ax normally. See how I sort of bring it to my side? Yeah, that's my normal swing right there. A normal swing sort of pull it in and then up. Okay, so rather than over and up, all one swing. Sorry about that. It's definitely without even trying it, like gets my knees involved in the uh, swing. Now I just need to really throw it out there more, I think bring it in last notch here unfortunately I don't have much time today so you'll have to uh, you know Ben Owen take a look at this footage and see if there's anything I'm doing right if there's um, something that I'm still doing way wrong and need to correct or if there's a few things I'm doing and just need to hone in on a little bit more I definitely noticed that my regular swing especially with the longer handle is to pull the axe to the side and then up whereas this technique seems to be seems to be because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing is to pull the axe straight over my head and then down Bend the knees, pull the arms up, let it down. Tell me if I'm doing anything right, guys. Thanks. Got to get out of here. Remember, if you want to be available for the axe giveaway, subscribe, like, comment in the doobly-doo below. I'll see you guys on the next one. If you don't think that's pretty, you are just a hard-hearted, screw-driven individual.